Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So this is our third video of a series to just do yoga. Do yoga, stretch your body. Even if you don't have time, just 10, 15 minutes to help you to stretch your body and release, of course, your muscles. And, we've, and we record in a group of four because it helps us, like, a, for example, one day you have more time, so you do the first video, but you can keep going to the next one and then the next one, and at the end you can have like a one hour if you have time, you know, so it's a full class. So that is the way we always record in, in blocks of four. So you can enjoy a short version or the full version. So how do you feel today? I hope you feel great. So let's start and remember, it's not about be super flexible and do splits and be like a ballerina. It's about to have mobility, about to release the stress in our joints, in our spine, and definitely be able to move more when we are getting all that. <laughs> and if you are young, it's still because sometimes a young people can be even less mobility, have less mobility than elderly people. So ready? Let's start. So this time we're going to start on all fours positions. So from all fours, we're going to go to cat and cow. So shoulders above your hands, hips above your knees. We go inhale, cat stretch, and exhale, move your hips forward. And arch your back. And again, inhale, cat stretch. And exhale, cow stretch. Let's go for two. Inhale. And exhale. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Back onto neutral. We curl the toes under and we're going to push our bum down as far as you can go. Just to stretch your toes. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And just one more. We're back again onto all fours. And slowly we're going to move our shoulders forward, bend the elbows. We're going to lie down on our tummy. Move your hands middle of the chest. And we're going to slide the hands away. So your hands are closer. That means you're going to come a little bit higher. And if your hands are a little bit more away from you, you're going to be a little bit lower. You choose what is the height is better for you. What is better for you that you don't feel pain in your lower back or you don't feel stress. You will feel tension because the muscles are contracting, but there is no pain or a sensation that you know is hurting. Okay, so you really, from this position, you come up and you say, oh, I can feel good. I feel good here, so I can move my hands more backwards, so I can go a little bit higher, or I need to move my hands more forward, so then I can come up. Still, you are working in your mobility, spine mobility, but you are not forcing your spine. Okay, so you choose here. Keep the forehead on the ground, feet on the ground. We try to keep the feet in the same width of your hips, and gently we're going to press the hips, uh, the feet on the floor. Sorry. Inhale and exhale, come all the way up. Stay here, take a breath, inhale and exhale, we go down. Inhale, exhale, come up, lift the elbows, straight the arms and just feel nice stretching your tummy. Don't force your body. Inhale and exhale, we release. Let's go two more. Inhale and exhale. Come all the way up. Inhale and exhale. Release down. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Come up. Inhale and exhale down. Now we're going to drag the hands close to your face, let the face rest on the left side, and we're going to just bend the right leg and release and bring the knee just as closer as you can without forcing. 
And we're just going to hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep. Relax your shoulders. Exhale. Let's go for three. And let's go two. And just one more. Bring your legs back again to the starting pose. And we're going to move our face towards to the left side. And we bend the left leg and we just open up. And we just hold here for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And we release. We lift the head, bring your hands close to your chest, push your body up all the way, and we sit back, child pose. This time we keep the arms at the front, but use the hands to press the hips, to push your hips down onto the heels. We hold four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And two. And just one. Come back again onto all fours. We curl the toes under. We try to sit on our heels. Again, if it's a little bit uncomfortable or painful, just keep your hands on the ground, but try to really keep the toes curled under to mobilize your feet, your toes, and of course, develop mobility and flexibility in your feet. So you can sit down completely. Fantastic. We just, I'm gonna turn around so you can see me. So you sit down on your heels, but if you can, just hold me here all the time. So bring your arms up. Drop your right arm to the side, and we're just going to stretch towards. So I know for some of us it's going to be painful on your feet, but try to don't let the weight collapse on your heels. Try to just kind of get your tummy, and don't let the weight collapse. Now here we're going to turn towards to the ceiling, lean to the side, flexion of the spine, and we hold for two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, and just one more. Back to center, arms together, drop the left hand, lateral flexion, just two breaths because I know your toes are stretching as well. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, and just one more, inhale, and exhale, release, come back on two, all fours, so we go all the way, all fours. From all fours, curl the toes under, come on to downward dog. We're going to inhale, lift your heels as much as you can. Exhale, heels go down. Let's go for three. And let's go two. Down. And just one more. Now here, we're going to lift the leg, but be careful that you don't open the, the hips to the side. You keep it parallel. And here, we're just going to flex and point your foot. Let's go four. Let's go three. Let's go two. Let's go one. Drop me your foot. Let's go other side. And we just four flex and point. Three, two, and one. Really. We go all the way onto all fours. Again, we just move our shoulders forward, bend your elbows to lie down on your tummy. Let's come back to the back extension or kind of baby cobras. Let's slide your hand, place them in the in wherever is good for you, wherever is good for you for your lower back, that you are not feeling pain in your lower back. So we go here. Inhale, exhale, lift the chest. So we feel a nice stretch in your tummy. But no pain in your lower back. Inhale at the top and exhale, release down. Inhale and exhale, come up again. Inhale and exhale down. Let's go for two more. Inhale, 
exhale, come up without pain. Inhale, exhale down. Last one, inhale and exhale, come up. Inhale and exhale down. Now this time we're going to open our arms beside our shoulders. Let the face rest on the left side. We're going to bend the right leg. We're going to lift the right thigh only. We flex the foot. We hold four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Now we point the foot. So we point toes uh, towards the ceiling, and here I wanted to you move the right foot towards to the left side as far as you can go, keeping your arms on the ground and your chest as far as possible. You feel the stretch in your thigh and your tummy. So we hold here just for four breaths. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Two, and just one more, and we release, fantastic, let's move everything onto the other side, so your face rest onto the right side, bend the left leg, lift the thigh, flex your foot, and we hold for four, and three, two, and just one more, now toes pointing towards the ceiling, move the leg towards the right side as far as you can go, and keep the chest on the ground, we hold for four, let's go for three, two, and just one more. And release. Okay, now move your face towards to the ground. Drag the hands close to your chest. Push yourself up all the way onto all fours. And we sit in back, child pose. Keeping your arms forward, but use your hands to push your bum down onto your heels. Let's hold here for three deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. Back again on two all fours. We curl the toes under one more time. We sit on our heels if it's possible. If not, you go as far as you can, okay, if you feel pain. Now from here, arms come up. Drop your right hand, lateral flexion, look towards the ceiling. We take two breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Just one more. And release. Let's go other side. Look towards the sky. Inhale. And exhale. One more. And back. Super. Come back onto all fours. We go again downward dog, but this time we're gonna lift the right leg, bend the right knee, and we open the hip to the side as we did on the floor. Remember, try to don't swing the foot on the floor. Keep the foot on the floor in the same position. Even if your heel is not touching the ground, try to don't swing it with the hips. Okay. So we hold here. Try to reach with the foot the other side. We hold for four. And three, two, and just one more. Really, let's go other leg, okay? Left leg come up, bend the leg, open the hip, four breath. Try to press as well with your fingertips against the ground so they don't let the weight collapse on the wrist. Take two more breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Go for one more. And exhale. Release. Bring your knees back onto the ground. 
sit back on your heels if it's possible, release your wrist, bring your wrist just against your waist and push your elbows backwards. Again, if this position is not comfortable, you can just hold your hands here and still this will help you to stretch your thighs or you can take a block and place the block just between your legs and you can sit down here comfortable. The important is that we extend our thighs. So in this full position or helping us with the block or just holding here, okay? But if you are sitting comfortable, just bring your hands just to help us to release. Let me just turn around so you can see me. Okay, so release me your wrist. Drop the head towards to the right side. Take a breath. Another side. If your hands are on the ground and you are not able to go backwards, you don't do the neck stretches. You just keep your hands on the floor, trying to go backwards. And back to center. Well done, everybody. Come back onto all fours again. Inhale and exhale. Lift your knees onto downward dog, pushing your tailbone backwards. You can bend your knees to extend more your back. We hold for four. Try to press with your fingertips as well onto the ground, keeping your wrist on the floor, but press with your fingertips. And one more deep breath. Inhale and exhale. We we'll look to the front. We we'll step forward, or we can walk forward. Bend your knees to allow your tummy to touch your thighs. Hands beside your feet. Let the head drop. Inhale and exhale. Roll up the spine. When you come into the upright position, roll your shoulders backwards. Now bring your hands behind your head, elbows in, just the head go down. You take four breaths here, feel the stretch in your neck and your upper back. Inhale deep and exhale. Let's go for three. Two. Just one more. Raise your torso, open your elbows, hold your elbows, your right arm at the front, inhale, and exhale. We just stretch toes to the right side. And back. Toes to the left. And back. Swap the arms, left arm at the front, go on to the right. And back and onto your left. And release your arms, roll your shoulders backwards. If you have time, you can go to the next video. And we'll see you again in the next one. Thank you for joining us. Remember, like, subscribe, leave us a comment. That will help us a lot. And you can follow us on Instagram as the sacredbodystudio.com. I know, in Instagram, it's only sacredbodystudio. Thank you, and my name is Fabi. Bye.